On the Health Watch, what could be the world's first designer babies. That's the claim of a Chinese researcher who says that he created gene edited twins. Health reporter Stephanie Schultz is here now with more on this controversial claim. Really controversial, yeah. guys. You know, this is there is an international uproar about this and a lot of unanswered questions, including proof the twins actually exist. Experts say rewriting DNA before birth with genetic editing on human embryos hasn't been proven to be safe, even if it is aimed at preventing disease. This Chinese researcher has set off a scientific firestorm after announcing he helped create the world's first genetically edited babies. I feel a strong responsibility uh, that it's not just to make it first, but also make it uh, uh, as example. Dr. He Jiankui claims he altered embryos for seven couples during fertility treatments. One resulted in the birth of twin girls this month. The gene editing was done using CRISPR, a tool that allows scientists to cut DNA apart to disable or fix a certain gene. The goal was to change a gene to prevent the HIV infection. This kind of gene editing is banned in the United States because changes can be passed to future generations and could harm other genes. There are also concerns it could lead to designer babies, allowing parents to choose traits like hair, eye, or skin color. Many experts say the experiments are unethical. We still have a lot of work to do to prove and establish that the procedure is actually safe. I would say that no babies should be born um, at this point in time following the use of this technology. There's been no independent verification of the genetically edited babies and the research has not been published in a medical journal. The university where the researcher has worked is calling for an investigation saying he has been on unpaid leave and officials were unaware of the research project and its nature. So creating these genetically modified babies, allegedly, that happened is being called dangerous and unethical. And now more than 100 scientists have signed a petition calling for better international oversight of gene editing experiments. Mm -hmm. Again, it is illegal in this country, but going on allegedly internationally. Isn't so, that wow. something? Yeah.